God bless you and yeah, I love you so much then. There's a table that has been set there. There's an end. You can serve yourselves to make yourself comfortable. All right. Uh, this is what is going to happen as we are waiting for more, more guests to arrive. I want to salute table number one. I call that one table number one. It's fully occupied. Well done, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from that table. Uh, some are still coming to join us. 
But when the celebrant arrives, this is what, I, what we are going to do. The celebrant is not aware of what is happening. The celebrant is thinking that there's another function. So as they enter the, the door, we are going to shout, surprise, because it is a surprise. He's thinking that he's coming for another function, but we have to surprise him. And it's indeed a very big surprise. So stay put. And as you relax, we'll let you know as time progresses how we're going to do on our program. There are very exciting um, items that are going to come, a few games that we're going to, you know, to do here to make this a day worthwhile. So more details to follow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. DJ, uh, please, we're all yours and uh, I know that you're not good. Gentlemen, another announcement. On my extreme right, right in the corner, there's a table for gifts. So we're not going to say, ah, oh, it's time for gifts now, come in. No, 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 we're not going to do that. What is going to happen on the program is that people just drop your gift there, you, you get settled, but when time comes for speeches, we'll let you know how we're going to do it. So it's not like you come and say, ah, oh, no, with my... Uh, big envelope, I want to say heaven to some. No, no, no. Just drop your gift over there. If you've got a speech, you will definitely give you a speech. We'll give you time to do so. All right? So that's going to happen. So the celebrant is on his way. They're on their way. They're coming. So let's stay put. And um, I know that DJ is okay. He's not going to let me down. Uh, man, I trust him. It's loaded. Good music. Fantastic music. And you're going to have a fantastic night as we celebrate. Uh, with one of our own. Okay, thank you. Let's get ready. Any minute from now, he's going to walk through that door, and all we need to do is to shout, surprise! And surely these guys will be capturing because we want to see that surprise moment. Very important, he's not aware. They are not aware. So, it's us who make it happen. A real <laughs>
here for wedding for, for my friend's wedding so I'm happy <laughs> Happening tonight. Elder Abigail Siafa, 
you are most welcome. Thank you very much for Thank making this possible. Thank you. All right. Our celebrant himself, <laughs> Mr. Joseph Serra. Please, can you stand so that we can see him smiling? I can just hear the vibrance from this side. So, uh, so uh, it's quiet as a church now. So, no. Let me formally welcome all of you to this exquisite ambience. As you can see, the place is nice, the place is warm, and you look beautiful. All of you look handsome, beautiful, well dressed. Clap in for yourselves. Yes. So, this is what is going to happen because we're 10th floor. Second floor, third floor, fourth floor, don't worry, your time will come. But Joseph Siapa today is sitting comfortably in the fifth floor. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs>
Dr. Joseph Siafa birthday, mm -hmm. and we are so excited to be part of it. We wish him many more. Maybe may he be blessed. May our God extend his territory. We are celebrating uh, Mr. Joseph Siafa's birthday today. He's now he's turned 50. So it's a, it's a time well lived. He deserves to be happy. All of us are celebrating with him. No doubt, God is good. We cherish the time that God has given him until today. Thank you very much. Century, so that at least it will be the same like our father, uh, Baba Gute, who went to God when he was around 50, 100 years, which is a century. I believe we are also going there, getting there. Thank you.
want to add those two cows from the book because this has been a great part. We wish you all the best. We wish you more years to come and may the Lord continue to bless you and give you lots of money. Just like what she just said, she said all the best. We wish you the, uh, all the best uh, in the next 50 years. Happy birthday. Today we have been celebrating Joseph's 50th birthday. It's actually a great time that we are here to enjoy with him, help him celebrate such a great man who has done so much things. Even personally, he's someone that's molding me. We also, I also personally look up to him. I'm enjoying my time. I'm so excited. Wish you many, many more. A hundred more years. Um, may God bless you. Um, yeah. We're happy. <laughs> Jose, wish you many more. I'm following you, I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Halala, halala, we are here celebrating the birthday of our elder, Elder Siafa in our church, a father to three children. We celebrate with him and we wish him a long life, blessed life. This is Top Wedding as a halala. <laughs>
Happy birthday to you, Joseph Siafa. Wish you many more years to come. I'm happy to be here. It's very a great party. to you know to show you just how much I appreciate you and how much I thank you and I pray to God that you know more than my words that the life that I will live is one that you will be proud of one that yeah one that you'll really be proud of and one that will honor you for, for everything you've done and for the great father that you've been you know, for those of you who don't know my father, um, he came here in 2005 and he came here without a high school diploma or university education and the odds were stacked against him. He lived in Kailicha for a bit and you know, did some work in the hotels, did some peace jobs um, and that sort of stuff. But now if you look at him, <laughs> you know, his story is so different to what it was when he came here. And a massive part of that is the fact that, you know, his faith in God is unwavering. You know, he's, he's so full of faith and he's the kind of man that is, is so grounded in that faith and is so diligent in pursuing the Lord, which is perhaps the greatest lesson that I've received from him. And on top of that, I think it's just how hardworking you are. I don't know anyone else who is as hard hardworking as you are. Not even Kevin Hart, and he does like 20 movies a year. Not even him. You are the most hardworking person I know. Second, second being my sister Sharon, but you're the most hardworking person. I know. I'm not even third in the family. I'll be honest. I will admit. <laughs> I'm still learning. But that, I think I've, I've learned so much from what you've done, more than I've learned um, a lot from what you said. Because you've, you've lived an exam exemplary life in so many ways, in ways that have inspired me. And I don't know if you know, but you're my biggest inspiration. And I kid you not when I say that. There is no one else out there that I think about that inspires me as much as you do to work hard and to do what I do. And I mean, I wouldn't be able to act if I didn't get my good looks from you, so that helps you. That helps you. So, <laughs> thank you for the good looks. But, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for really standing in the gap as a father. Thank you for being present. And I, I don't take that lightly because I know so many people, so many of my friends, more than 70% of them, don't have present fathers. But you're present, not just because you live in the house, but you're doing what a father is supposed to do. And even more than that. So, thank you. I love you so much. Well, the words can explain. And like I said, it's no use me saying a lot of words because words are so easy to say. But I just hope that I will make you proud Amen. with the life that I live. God bless you and yeah, I love you so much, Dad. That's sweet. 
it. Father and son moments. Hey. Hey. Can you imagine? Hey. Watch him. Ray and Tafu. Hey. I hope he's in China. Um, happy, happy um, half century to the world's most funniest dad. Um, thank you for always being very supportive and understanding. Thank you for always being there and for me and guiding me, for teaching me how to love and how to pray, how to be humble and how to share. Thank you for always being bright. With you around, there's never a dull moment. 50 is a milestone, and I pray for many, many, many more years of life. I'm so grateful to have a father like you, Dad, and I really appreciate you. I hope your birthday is filled with lots of love. You have taught me to give and to always value the littlest stuff in life. I will always carry the moral wherever I go. Your famous words, Taka Bakure. Continue being the strongest person that you are, Dad. You really are my hero. I love you, Dad. Yeah. When they start to be snobbish and the like, tell them, not the suffer, just the suffer. Tell them where you're coming from. Yeah. Tell them their roots, lest they forget. Nice. Yeah. I have learned that lesson. Thank you very much. Uh, Nyasha, that is a wonderful speech, my girl. Well done. Now, let me call upon the firstborn. The firstborn. The first fruit of the womb. Yes, I'm counting money. Yeah. Uh, Cheryl, over to you. Come and sit over here and give your speech. Yeah, well, that's zero. Okay, my speech is probably not going to be as moving as my brother's. <laughs> but because I'm such a big class, first of all, let me start by saying congratulations on reaching 18,250 days there. That's a lot. <laughs> God only. Uh, words alone cannot explain my gratitude. Um, the list is endless. From working so hard to ensuring that our daily needs are met, uh, to in allowing me to flex with your money. Like, I'm such a lucky girl, you don't know. <laughs> Everybody in the family is so convinced that when I was my dad, you never know. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Like, that's the same thing when I was with money and you said to me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, you're so like it. So thank you. I'm, I'm very appreciative. Very, very much appreciative of that. Um, thank you for all the spiritual battles you fought and will still fight for us as a family, like my brother alluded. Like, my dad is such a man of faith. Like, in everything, every single situation that I go through, like I always know that, you know, he'll always be there spiritually. And I feel like even the way I've grown spiritually, it's also because of his contribution. Otherwise, I would not even have the hunger of like wanting to know God personally if he wasn't there, if he didn't lead us correctly. So thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for setting an example of what a household that is led by a God-fearing person looks like. Congratulations on another trip around the sun. May God continue to bless you beyond your wildest dream. I wish you immense prosperity, joy, stability, peace, and love now and always. Um, here's to counting to a hundred. <laughs> Nice one. I told 
code which is an accountant, she deals with numbers. Yeah. 18,250. <laughs> nice one. I like that one, Sharon. Thank you very much for such a wonderful speech. Uh, Mr. GJ, please get prepared for me because after this, uh, the person that is going to speak, we want to dance a little bit and flex a little bit. You know, you know after eating, you know, food doesn't just the brain behind all this. You know? Um, I want to say to Joseph Siafa, happy birthday day to you. Um, I don't know where to start because this man is a nice man. Uh, I'm not saying this because he's here, but I always say this even when in his absence, he is a nice man. Uh, I don't know what to say because uh, as I'm standing here, I think my father and my mother, they will testify, he is their firstborn. He take care of my parents as his parents. Everything he does, he does it wholeheartedly. He phones my mother and my father, and he comes to ask me, do you know that your mother is sick? Mm. <laughs> when I don't know that my mother is sick. Mm. So uh, I don't know what to say to you, Joseph Siapa. But yes. I want to thank you so much mm. for taking care of us. Yeah, as you hear kids say, he's a very hardworking man. Uh, every, in, I, I tell you that he is the boss, but he walks out the door. Mm. Six, past six, he's going to work, but he is the boss. that you are there for us and you will never run for your responsibility. You take care for your family, everything that they need. And if you ask my kids, they don't ask me money because they know mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but one word they do, they, they want money, they just, just give money. That uh, he is taking care for his family. He is not running away from responsibility. He is a good man and he is a prayer warrior. A prayer. <laughs> I don't want to say prayer warrior. <laughs> he is an intercessor. Yes, not prayer warrior. Intercessor. It's the Bible. And sometimes you can hear him praying around 4 o'clock when me. He is teaching us uh, very good morals. So for, for these 50 years that you reach, I pray that God will continue to keep you in, in good health so that you can reach up to 100. And then uh, I want to pray to God that God will continue to keep you until you see your grand, grand children. Amen. I just stood up to second what Elder Abigail was saying. This is a man of God. You see a lot of people in the church, you don't know how they come. I, want, I stood up because he's the man who invited me to church. I told him I can't come to church because I, 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 I don't want to disturb God, but he persuaded me with love. And I think he cheated me. Because because what he said to me yeah. was so persuasive. Yeah. He told me, 
come to church. Mm. I said, but I want to drink. I want my black label. Yeah. I can't leave my black label and come to church. Yeah. And he told me, don't worry. Yeah. Come to church drinking. Mm. When you are done with church, you go and drink. Mm. So I spent a month coming to church and then he, because we were neighbors. And then I'm drinking, he's okay with me drinking until these things die on their own. Right. So I want to second what Elder said. This is an evangelist and a man of God. Mm. We see people coming to church is because of people like him. Mm. So I just want to say congratulations, my evangelist, mm. and may God uh, continue to use you in different mm. lives. Amen. Amen. I didn't prepare any speech, but uh, I can't just sit there and not say something. Uh, first, I want to say um, every birthday to my brother, brother Joseph Siapa, he's my big brother. Yes, um, I just want to say um, Joseph Siapa is not only good to his family, he extends his hand, his, his arms are open. I remember so many times uh, he calls me to his office to ask me about my life, what's going on in my life. He wants to know in terms of business, in terms of my family and everything. Uh, to me, he's not a friend, he's a brother, my real brother. There's no one in your life who can say, uh, my friend, he makes a follow up and say, I want to make my first million with you. I don't want you when I'm rich and then you, you feel bad because you're gonna be staying out there. He said it so many times, did not say it once. I remember when he started this company, I was also doing my company on the side in the night, and uh, Elder Michael's uh, Mata also on the side. We were starting, he was still working at the hotel. And uh, you see, remember my brother, those days that we were going to Danun, walking, and we asked the taxi driver to accompany you across that bridge. When you see him saying, uh, you live Hamlet, I was saying it a few weeks ago to say, do you know God took us far, took us from far, when we were still walking, we were telling Bible school in Danun, we take a text together, we strike, we said, no, no, we're not getting into any text to slow, we must take our brothers across the bridge, then we take you to go there, look at him now, look where he is, continue to say, I've seen him even in church, he calls a lot of people, invite them to his office. I'll be listening, brother, I see. I see what you're doing. God sees, God is seeing what you're you are doing. For you to do the good work, God bless you. People are continuing speaking, nice thing. Uh, I just want to say happy birthday to Elder Joseph Siafa. I'm just here to say something about him. It's like Elders, you are saying, this man is not just a man for only his family or for himself, but he's an encourager. It's like what he was talking about, that you see some people coming to church. It's like, you know, my daughter is, is no longer coming to forward in faith. But you see, this guy, this day, sometimes she will come, she will come. It's just because of Elder Joseph Siafa. He always come, he just always speak to my daughter in another way that he said, you, you know what, Elder was talking to me, I'm coming back to forward in faith, I'm coming back to forward in faith. And also even in business, he's not a person who just wants to do things by himself. He also encourages, whenever she sees my daughter, she also encourages me about business. You know she brought a company that she registered, but she's not serious on that company. But he always say, you know what, just because you are going to work and you have something in your head, that's why you are not taking this company serious. He's an encourager. He always just he say, no, we have to keep on doing it, we have to keep on pushing. He's a very nice man, he's just cared for other people. Even in the life of prayer, you know, when I started coming, when he was still here in Parkland, I just learned from him, he was just my role model in intercession. Even Elder, at what she was saying, I was saying to Elder Sheila, yes, Elder, um, she's there now because of this man. <laughs> so I really want to appreciate, appreciate you, Elder Joseph Siafa. You are such a great man, a man who just stand with everyone.
one. A man who doesn't do things on his own, but he just wants people to get wherever you are also. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, uh, and uh, Mr. Lion, the third one. Right. Uh, <laughs> Shumba. Uh, which is good. <laughs> no, I'm um, so happy for you. Uh, we are same age boys, as uh, you see us. That's why we always play together. Um, I like this man because yeah, he's a motivator, as all others are saying. Uh, he's an encourager, I always only. Hey, what can we do with this? What can we do on this business? What can we do even the change, even the work of God? He always found me. What do you think we can do? Uh, he, he, he listens. He has got an ear to listen from others. He just, just is not somebody who just says, uh, I know, I know, I know everything. But he wants to hear also uh, what, what you think, uh, what you suggest, you see. So he's someone who is very workable with. He's someone who loves God. And for sure, he's, good. he's a man of faith. If he wants something, if he pushes for something, then definitely that thing will come out. He will still be tangible, you will see it. So may God bless you for sure. And uh, eight more years, uh, 200, you are halfway now. Uh, you will get where our father is. That's what is our wish. May God bless you, brother. Thank you, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Mwachi. Um, so, uh, even my own blood brothers, not saying that you're not my blood, but you're also my blood. Um, I just want to thank God for your life. Um, it's because of the aura you can, you know, when God gives someone meekness that you will desire yourself. It's so hard for you not to respect and honor God in that person. So we just want to appreciate you on your birthday. Um, you are a respectable man. When I was growing up, um, you would hear, ah, Joseph Siafa, he's now praying, um, speaking of what he used to do before. Um, and. We only know you as a prayerful person. One of the very few people who started praying early in our family. And Katanga, Shogunamata. And we're just following suit. You know, when you see the results of prayer, the results of what God does, um, it's a working formula that you just have to follow. And we are appreciating you and your family and Mama Abigail, um, we, we honor you both. Uh, and we just pray that as we have gathered here as, as a people, we all respect you know, and recognize what God is doing in his, in his life. Um, as, as God you know, um, gives him more age and more years. Uh, just in FYI, very few people have reached the age of 50. Um, so we recognize the working of God in your life and we want to tap into that. We appreciate you and we love you so much. I don't call my own brothers Mkomajo, but I just appreciate you so much. To, to, that, to that, if you ask anyone, my father, you know, I don't call him Baba, I call him Dad. But you, I, I don't know, that there's gravitas in the way Mukoma that I just have to appreciate in that way. So we thank you, we honor you. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's nice, it's nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'll give you amen. 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 You know why I'm saying amen? Because God has permitted this. Then who else can we agree with? 
So I stood up here to appreciate and to thank God for my dear brother. He is my young brother. I call him my young brother. Because, you know, in life, if you have somebody when you are in trouble and you are able to look at that person and think in your heart that this is the only person that is going to help me out. When you shout to that person, within two, three minutes, the problem has been solved. I think we always see the hand of God. Because the Bible says, blessed is the hand that he gave it. Not the one that receives. Because most of us, we call ourselves we are blessed when we look at the things that we have in our house. But how many people have you given so far to call yourself a blessed person? So I want to appreciate God so much. Looking at this figure here, people, they say wisdom comes by age. But I always beg to differ. Because if common sense was by age, there shouldn't be murders that we hear. Or these rap cases that we always hear that a, a 50 year old man raped a 9 year old girl. So when I look at this, I say, the Bible says something about it. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, it says that uh, my spirit shall not strive with men anymore. And uh, God gave like a demarcation that his life or his years to live are going to be cut in half. But when I see these years now, I thank God. Because I have heard so far that there are people that have never reached this age, but they wanted, they had the desires that one day, if I am 50, maybe I will be so and so. So I want to say to you, Bambini, you have been an inspiration. Even to me, he is almost four years younger than me, but I want to appreciate him so much. I want to appreciate him so much. I always tell my kids at home that if you forget this man in life, I don't know what else you will forget in your life. He is a wonderful man. We have heard from the kids. We have heard from the neighbors. We have heard from the people who are close by that he is a wonderful man. I'm also a child of God. But I lived with him. He is the one who made me to come to Cape Town. It wasn't my desire. But he called me and he told me, Banguru, come right now. And when I came here, I was in his hands. Like what we have heard from the other brother who said he was waiting in a hotel. And that's what he taught me, he said, Bangkuru right now, life is not good, both from you and from me, but let's do this together. And we stood together. And I want to appreciate God so much that I'm almost 18 years here in Cape Town, and I always remember him. That if it was of him and his wife as well, because she's also somebody with a good heart, because helping somebody who is not going to stand or somebody who cannot see where the, 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 like the husband, where is, where, where is he heading to? But a wife who can get into her husband's vision and see where the husband is going, that will be a sweet home. And I want to appreciate your many as well, that may God bless you, may God continue to bless you, don't give up. We are still looking at 100 years if God will keep us until that time. So may God bless you.
round of applause. Thank you, thank you so much. Come and join me. Look at my hand, come and join me. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> Yo! um, Doctors. Doctors here. Okay, we come to get inside one house, one, two, three doctors, and one professor. No, congratulations. Well, I've just stolen a minute. Um, if you are far away from him, you may not see. Um, but I worked with him a lot in the wedding committee. And there will be a lot of guys that will be having a lot of things that are not in order, taking the finances, but we'll chip in. Uh, what can we do? Let's form a group. Let's contribute. Uh, so most of the people that have wedded, we were encouraged and motivated by Elder CFA to come up with you know, some crowdfunding of some sort that we were doing in order just to cushion those people so that they would go through. Um, I still remember, I also went for Deeper Life. It's a, it's, a, it's a leaders meeting for those who are not familiar with what in faith in, in Joburg. And during that time, I was not working. So every time when I wanted to buy food or anything, it would say, uh, 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 don't, 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 my brother, don't use your money. Put back your money. So throughout that whole conference, he was the one who was buying for me. If he would see that I, you know, you know, purchased something, he said, how much did you use for this? And he would reinvest me the money. No one had given him that mandate. No one had told him, oh, this guy is not working, so take care of him. But out of the kindness of his heart, he was doing that. He did not stand in front of the church to testify, yeah, look, look at that brother, was the one who was taking care of him. No one knows. You are now knowing because I'm saying it. God bless you. Easy K is saying that a lot of humble will be Take, take, nine. Yes. I said, come, God free. Everybody is a witness. Nice one. Um, first of all, quickly, Joseph, sister, please get, get ready. Then, Baba, we close. Baba. Ah, Baba. Okay. I respect you. I respect you. Uh, the way I'm looking like now, I'm looking beautiful and handsome. Uh, it's just a siapa. How to look beautiful? I'm going to look handsome. Beautiful. I respect you, Joseph Siapa. I have my own company now. It's because of Joseph. I love you, Joseph. What's that you say? I love you, Joseph. You still need money. I don't give you money. <laughs> Send me your account. That's what I can say. Send me your account. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Joseph, I will need POP, proof of payments. <laughs> proof of payments. But I know Father is a man of his words. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, at this time, oh. Yes. <laughs> My sisters usually they are honest. Don't go to the side. Because you are Thank you, sister. Very emotional. Um, it says a lot. Let me tell you my birthday guy. It's a warm-up profile. Not easy.
get my birthday. She went to Paris and Benny and said, I'm going to go to Paris. 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 I see my new manager. I see this is nice, um, uh, Joseph. This is very nice. I wanted to say what you have done for me, but mm. but what does it mean? Yeah, they will say, ah, do it to professor. Ah. Yeah. yeah. So no, let me let me stop there. <laughs> Baba, wakati derekela. Ah, we are in. Sharuka, Sharuka, Sharuka.
who is likely to run late? Who is likely to run late? Who is likely to run late? What of them is saying Abigail is likely to run late? Who is more romantic? Who is more romantic? Romantic, yes! and Joseph says Abigail is more romantic. <laughs> so it means they complement each other. They see each other as a romantic, both of them. Fantastic. Who is the better driver? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not a matter of who has been driving for a long time. Some of us have been driving a long time, but hey. Joseph says his wife is the better driver, and Abigail says uh, my husband is the better driver. <laughs> this one. Who is more likely to lose his keys? Kungo share my keys so. Tindi na yung matiyar pa bus the keys. Obvious. Obvious. You got it right, both of you. <laughs> Hey, per dance floor. On the dance floor, who is the better dancer between the two of you? Who is the better dancer? <laughs> wow, they got it right. So on this one, I was told that when they get it right, they will have to demonstrate. Yes! Because yes! Abigail, they say she's yes! a better dancer, a dancer. Oh, yeah. Who stays up late? And it's not a moon at all, but who can? Let's play this for them. Lovely, wonderful, wonderful. Let's take the chance.
who made the first move? Okay, they got it right. Let's clap hands for them. The second question, who said I love you first? Ah, they got it right. The next question, who is a pickier eater? Who is very picky when comes to Where's the shoe? Give me the shoe. Aha! What is saying is peak your terms so it is good. Is that true? I'm not sure. Let me get it right. The next one, who is the funny one in the family? That's all! They got it right. Yes! Who is Messia? Who messes a lot? Who is Messia? Obvious! Obvious! They got it right. Who is the better cook? Alright. Who is more stubborn? <laughs> That's nice. Who is more likely to run late for an appointment or to church? Ah, you got it right again. Who is more romantic? To lose their keys. Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 Who is a better dancer? Oh. Oh. Ah, that's the only one that they, 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 they got wrong. So you stay put because you want to see who is a better dancer. Oh, that, that's how it is. Who stays up late? Late. Uh, in the night. Paka hey, Pap. <laughs> All right, you got it wrong. Let's clap hands for them. But they tried. They got most of the questions right. Mr. TJ, give us a very nice one. We want to see this couple doing their dance moves and want to see who is the better.
hip, 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 Happy, happy birthday! Who go my Jose? Happy, happy, happy birthday! Who go my Jose? Happy, happy, happy birthday! Who go my Jose? This is nice. <laughs> DJ! Because of all time, ladies and gentlemen, um, well, the, the slowly up your going for gold, up your going for gold, just a silver, just a silver gold. Ah, she takes it right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it was fantastic, it was great for me to be your host for tonight. Uh, in fact, when I was approached to say that I should be the host for this occasion, I never said no, I never thought twice. I just said, yes, I can do it. Why? Because it is Jose. So guys, never call me to a function to be an MC because I want to see them enjoy it, cake, eat food nicely, really love the environment. But for today, I'm signing out as I'm giving this time to one and only Sharon Silver to give a word of thanks. After which, you will not see me because I never got a chance to go on the dance floor with my beloved wife. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you. Um, a big uh, thank you to everybody that took time out of the busy schedule and honored our invitation. We really appreciate it. I think you have made this day such a beautiful day and my dad can like attest to that himself uh, thank you so much and continue with the same love um i cannot say anything more and have a blessed evening amen